Hey, hey, Armin here. Uh, in this video I will show you how to set up uh, the first sheet in my uh, adjustable uh, calculator. So enjoy. Uh, finally I have uh, finished uh, the fully adjustable uh, calculator uh, which is a very very valuable tool for every uh, every RevShare user out there. Uh, and in this video I will show you how to set up the first first sheet. Uh, all the box, uh, light brown boxes are adjustable, like you can read here also, so it means uh, this box here, those here, 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 uh, those here, here and here. And of course uh, this number of active shares is uh, adjustable like in every, every calculator. Uh, so what everything does, uh, so let me, let me go over uh, those things. First, if you uh, open this uh, sheet up, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, choose how many levels you have in your RevShare uh, by changing the number uh, here. Uh, because don't uh, change, uh, don't delete numbers, uh, don't delete any number uh, in those boxes. Because if you do that, uh, the compounding page will show, show you errors. So please uh, change only the number, how many levels you have, and then uh, it will uh, it won't count uh, those numbers what you have uh, down here. So let's say if we change it to three, we have let's say three tiers. Tiers. So we have now uh, th the compounding calculator will use only uh, first three tiers. So everything else is. Uh, it doesn't. He won't. It won't use. Like you see, daily percentage is uh, zero now. Uh, but let's uh, keep it five. Uh, by the default, it is set up uh, to Top Share Global. And uh, f for now, uh, as there are uh, new new rules, uh, there are free earnings. Uh, this is the wealthy one. So the fastest uh, earnings you have in Top Share Global. So it's set up like uh, this. Uh, after you have uh, chosen how many tiers you have, you need to choose, uh, set up uh, what is the cost of your tiers. So for first level, second level, third level, you change everything what you have. Uh, so uh, how how much uh, you have to pay for every every ad pack you have. And uh, here you uh, choose the repurchase uh, percentage. How much of your earnings will go to repurchase? and how much will go to your main balance. So this shows uh, how much is going to repurchase. If it's uh, 30% like it's here, it means 30% uh, of your earnings will go to repurchase and 70% will go to your main balance. And the uh, profit percentage, so the expiry or maturity, what uh, you want to call it. So th here you uh, put the maturity percentage that you have on every every tier, and uh, this uh, box, uh, those uh, boxes here are not uh, adjustable. If you want to choose daily percentage, you have to cho change uh, days to mature, because there are many uh, different uh, rev shells. Some of them you are using daily percentage. Some of them are using uh, days to mature. I uh, use this because the calculator the best. Uh, uh, would be if uh, it's uh, full days, not uh, let's say 5.2 or something, uh, because uh, the compounding page uh, uh, calculates uh, with the full days. But uh, I will show you a little bit. So let's say you have uh, uh, the maturity is 5% uh, 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 for the ad pack that uh, will expire. Uh, in uh, 120%. So you want to be this to 5. So let's change to 50. Let's see what happens. Too much. 25. Uh, so you see it's uh, 4.8. Let's uh, put uh, 24. Okay, it's already 5. But let's uh, find a 6. If it's 6%, let's say this is 6%. So let's. Uh, at six, but let's they make it four, so it's less little bit. So I write for thirty, twenty-nine, oh, thirty-one, 
so it's a uh, 4.03 so this is actually quite uh, accurate but if you want to be, be total accurate you have to write here something you see now it's uh, 4% so it's a uh, 31 Point twenty-five uh, days, but the uh, compounding will uh, calculate thirty-one. So if you use this, it won't be exactly accurate. Uh, but uh, it's up to you which way you want to use. Uh, you put twenty-one here, so it's uh, four point oh three, or you put uh, twenty-one, uh, thirty-one, twenty-five. But uh, uh, the best uh, would be if you put something in middle. So let's put uh, 31.15 like this. So this is uh, 4.01 and this is 31. So it's somewhere uh, in the in the middle now. Uh, so the compounding page is uh, the most accurate you can uh, get with this. Uh, so this is how you choose the days to mature and you change the daily percentage. Uh, now uh, you need to know does your rev share has a daily limit? Uh, if uh, it has, you have to write yes here, and if, if it doesn't have, you have to write no. Uh, so with top share globally, every level has a daily limit also, and uh, with the uh, uni rev share out there now, also daily limit is 150. So if there is a daily limit, you put yes here, and uh, you choose the amount uh, what you have for every level. If they are separate, if uh, they are all together, you write everything the same. So for 30, 30, 30, 30 and so on. And uh, do you have total addback uh, limit? If the, if you have, uh, then uh, put yes here. Even if you have only one, for one uh, tier, uh, you put yes here. Because let's say for uh, tier 1, we have a limit 90, but tier 2 and tier 3, we ha don't have limit. So let's may say we have three tiers, and uh, for one we have limit, and for two and three we don't have, so we write zeros here. So zero it, it means it's uh, un unlimited. Zero. So now uh, the comp compounding page uh, knows that tier two and tier three does, doesn't have the limit, but tier one has limit, uh, total limit 90. So this is how you change those. You put the numbers back. And now let's move on. So here you have referral stuff and you have uh, the settings that you can uh, choose also. So this is the earning, uh, what you have, uh, uh, the percentages, uh, what you earn, how they mature, the limits and so on. And here you uh, can choose the referral uh, things. So if you have uh, two level referrals, you can adjust uh, those two. If you have only one, you can uh, write zero here or just delete it it's uh, it's up to you uh, and uh, here uh, are three three uh, different settings so referral commission from fresh funds referral commission from main balance referral commission from repurchase balance uh, so if you get uh, your commission only from uh, fresh funds like with this uh, with one ad, one pack now uh, you only choose this, you delete that line, uh, so you put only 10% here. If you get uh, from main main balance purchase, like it is with uh, Top Share Global, it's uh, different. Uh, for fresh funds with a premium subscription, you have 10%, and uh, main balance purchase, you have 2%. So you can uh, put 2 here. Uh, but let's say you have repurchase balance also somewhere, so let's say it's one percent. So you write those everything here. If uh, your rev share doesn't have uh, the uh, different uh, percentages, uh, so let's say you ha get five percent from every purchase that you referral they make, so then you just write everywhere five. So you get five percent from fresh funds, from main balance and repurchase balance. So this is how you set set up the referral referral commission. And let's now move on here. Uh, withdrawal cap multiplier. So if your rev share has a uh, withdrawal cap uh, and uh, it's multiplied uh, with your deposit, so you can 
uh, put a uh, number number here. With driver cap multiplier, let's say it's uh, three times. So you just write the three three here. Uh, daily max withdrawal. Uh, so this is uh, how much you can uh, withdraw uh, daily. So daily maximum. So you write the number here. Uh, separate commission balance. So if your uh, back office has a separate commission balance, you write yes here. It, uh, if uh, the commissions will go to your main balance or repurchase balance, you write no here. So if uh, you have separate balance, you write yes. Mainly there is a separate uh, balance uh, with uh, those uh, commissions. Now, uh, next one, add commission balance to main balance. Can you put them uh, together as uh, one? Uh, if you can uh, put them together, then you write yes. It's, uh, if you have to purchase separately, you write no here. And add main and repurchase together. So this is also, you can uh, choose if you have the possibility to, to put the main balance and repurchase balance together, you write yes here. If uh, no, you're, if not, uh, you write no here. And uh, the compounding ratio will, uh, will uh, act accordingly. So it will know uh, do you have separate balances for uh, repurchase and main balance, uh, which is uh, actually also quite valuable tool. And uh, it was uh, a little bit uh, pain in the ass, let's say, uh, to make the compounding page to uh, know the things. Because uh, let me show you: uh, you have uh, three balances, and every time you purchase you need to have three different balances uh, for the tier 1, for tier 2 so everywhere I have many hid hidden uh, columns here so all those things uh, had to uh, put here and also how the, how the uh, compounding page knows uh, which balance you choose to uh, purchase uh, this was the hardest, hardest part uh, for me but I uh, but I go, uh, but I get it done uh, eventually, so everything is now fine. Uh, it, it uses uh, uh, like this: uh, first he purchases from uh, commission balance, then he purchases from uh, main balance, and then he purchases from repurchase balance. So this is the primary, this is secondary, this is the final. Uh, so no, uh, it's other way around. Sorry. Yeah, the repurchase balance is the first because you need to have the money in your main balance, then the main balance, and then the commission balance. So uh, the ad packs will be purchased uh, by first using your repurchase balance, the main balance, and then the commission balance. So every time you purchase something here, the calculator will know which balance you using. Because usually you purchase the packs like this, you use uh, reverse first, then main balance, then commission balance. Let me go back to here. Uh, now, referral commission to repurchase balance. Uh, so, with Topshare Global, now you have 50% uh, which will go to your repurchase balance and 50% will go to your uh, main, main balance. Or even uh, to commission balance because you have separate balance there. So here you can uh, choose how, may, how much uh, will go to your repurchase, how much will go to your main balance or commission balance. So let's say if uh, commission will go totally to commission balance, you write uh, zero here. If uh, everything will go to repurchase balance, you write 100% here. So this is uh, how you choose your where the commission uh, will go. Uh, Withdrawable days. Uh, do you have five days a week or seven days a week? So if you change this, uh, your daily uh, daily withdrawal will change a little bit. And the most uh, hardest thing uh, with uh, this compounding uh, calculator was the weekend earnings, fifty uh, percent. If you have your rev share with fifty uh, percent daily uh, weekend earnings, you use yes here. And if you doesn't have weekend earnings, fifty percent, uh, you put no here. Uh, with Topshare Global, uh, now you have a different uh, different uh, settings. So with the first, the fastest one, you have weekend earnings 50%, but with the second and third one, you don't have. So you have to change uh, this also if you are changing the expire. And all what you do here will uh, change the compounding uh, page. So if you uh, change the profit, 
if you change the repurchase balance, if you change the price, if you change the taste to mature, so everything what you change here will uh, change the compounding page. So this is very very valuable uh, tool you can have. So you don't need to have a different uh, calculator for every ref share. You just uh, you just uh, need this uh, ultimate the one calculator and you can change uh, the settings according to your uh, need. Then you can save as let's say you have a click uh, click delivery. You change the settings. You click save and uh, put click delivery as a name. And next uh, one you again change the settings. You choose the ref share what you use. Uh, choose the name and uh, save it. So you have a uh, calculator for every ref share you have. Uh, okay, and that. Uh, there is one uh, thing I uh, would add. I think uh, later uh, withdrawal cap uh, multiplier. Uh, on some ref shares, it's also with uh, referral commissions. So this will be added uh, in my later versions. Uh, and if you already have this uh, version, if you have uh, bought it, you have uh, paid the donation to my Bitcoin or uh, other payment processor, you get the other uh, other calculators with uh, when I update. You get it them uh, for free, so it's like a lifetime uh, fee you you will pay. Uh, but uh, I think this is it for uh, this video. Uh, I hope I could e explain everything. If you have if you have any question, please uh, please uh, feel free to ask me. And uh, if you like this video, I appreciate if you click the like button in YouTube, and also feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't uh, visit my Facebook page, uh, Revenue for You. I appreciate if you visit and then click the like uh, there also. And I hope to see you in my next videos and happy Onyx of course. And uh, have a have a great day. Bye bye.